I'm going to give my impressions and thoughts of a resistance band kit. Now, I've often thought about buying one of these, but times being what they are at the moment, and all the gyms being closed because of the COVID, I've decided to go out and get one. Now, the kit I've bought is typical of any kit you'll see on Amazon, eBay, and some of the other retailers, and in it, you'll get two hand grips, two Velcro ankle straps, and you get this device for anchoring your bands to something. So you can loop this around something and then put your bands through here or this stop will go over the top of or underneath a door leaving the loop here to get your bands through. So with that over the top of the door you could put the bands through it and then use it to do exercises such as cable crossover cable flies you could put it underneath the door and use it for doing seated row type exercises and the resistance given for these bands is yellow 15 pound red 20 pound blue 25 pound green 30 pound black 35 pound now i don't know who has calculated the resistance of these bands or how they've done it or even how you're supposed to gauge the amount of resistance you're getting out of them. I'll try and explain. The black and the blue band are supposed to give us a resistance of 60 pounds or 27 kilos. Here I am doing some bicep curls with them, which I can do relatively easy. Now I'm doing the same exercise with 15 kilo or 33 pound dumbbells. And what I can tell you is, it's twice as hard doing the same exercise with the dumbbells as it is with the bands which are supposed to be double the weight. This red band is supposed to have a resistance equating to 20 pound or 9 kilos. Now I was using this to do lateral raises and front raises with it. Now if I was doing this with a 9 kilo dumbbell I'd be struggling a lot more than I was using this red band. I even wrapped the band crossed around my feet to try and get some more resistance out of it, but I still found it relatively easy to do. So the bands themselves are putting out nowhere near the level of resistance that they claim to be doing. The ankle straps that I got with my resistance band kit aren't very good. Every time I attach a resistance band to it and try doing an exercise, the Velcro just isn't strong enough and comes undone. Now, apart from the level of resistance being nowhere near stated and the ankle straps not up to much, I'm okay with them. If the gyms were open, would I have bought them? Probably not. But as I've got them and been using them for about two weeks, what do I think? Well, I'm glad I've got them. I've managed to get some good routines together, combinations of exercises using the bands and other bits of equipment I've got. They've brought some variety to my training. Resistance bands also allow for muscles to work concentrically and eccentrically, providing resistance during the work phase and the rest phase. I can use them on my own and they're pretty safe. It's highly unlikely I'm going to work myself with them. They're also easy to travel with, so next time I go on vacation, they'll be coming with me. No one is going to get the physique that the people doing the marketing pictures have using these. But if you do a bit of training at home or want some resistance equipment that's easy to travel with, then I'd say these are a must have. I don't know how long these are going to last or when the resistance they have will start to decrease. But when that time comes, I'll get some more. I enjoy training with them at home and now I wouldn't like to train without them.